Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Miller. Over the past 30 years, I've taken care of infertile couples as well as practiced minimally invasive gynecologic surgery in metropolitan Chicago. My go-to procedure is saline-infused sonogram. In the past, like you, I've had the same type of concerns. The hysterosalpingogram catheter. The catheters on the market are problematic, to say the least. The tips are oftentimes sharp. The catheters themselves are firm, thus in both cases leading to a great deal of pain. Third, there's an outer sheath that, yes, does stabilize that catheter, but is so wide it doesn't allow entry into the endocervix and thus on into the lower uterine segment. I'm here to announce that along with Thomas Medical, I've had the opportunity to develop the Miller Advance catheter. The catheter itself is soft. Thus, it is less painful on entry. The sheath covering the catheter is thin, and so it readily can be placed into the endocervix to allow us easier placement then on into the lower uterine segment. And finally, this catheter has memory. By having memory, we easily can place the, the catheter into the most difficult antro or retroflexed uteruses. Translation, less pain, greater success. Placement of the Miller Advance catheter is quite easy. In fact, I'm going to show you three patient profiles where we can place the catheter without any problem. Let's first talk about the easy patient. Simply go ahead, draw the sheath back. You have the soft catheter, no discomfort. Bring it into the endocervix, lower uterine segment, and inflate the balloon. Situation number two. You're dealing with a patient who has a rather stenotic cervix. We bring our sheath to the tip to give it stability. We then bring the sheath and the soft tip forward. Once we reach the endocervix, we can advance our catheter and voila, the balloon is placed. Again, one cannot do that with the catheters at present because the diameter of the sheath is too big to allow entrance in to the endocervix. The third concern would be that patient who has a very antroflexed or retroflexed uterus. In this case, we make use of the memory feature of the sheath. And as you can see, I'm flexing the catheter sheath so that virtually I can get any angle I want. I then come in through the vagina on inside and inflate the balloon. Here's a typical case where I feel the Miller Advance catheter really proved to be an advantage. 29 year old Gravita Zero referred to me from her doctor for further fertility workup and she had cervical stenosis. She had a severely retroflexed uterus. Two difficult features when dealing with the older, time-worn catheters, I ended up performing a FemView procedure. I used ultrasound 
and found that the tubes were not patent. But how was I able to do that? Well, I used this catheter, the Miller Advance. I saved her a laparoscopy by being able to complete the procedure with the Miller Advance catheter. I certainly don't want to sound self-serving, but I really urge you to try this catheter. It is in advance. It is easier for the patient. And ultimately, it is an advance for you as well because it's gonna allow you to complete this procedure in your office and to be successful virtually every time. I do feel strongly about this catheter. We've come up with a system that markedly reduces pain for the patient and increases success of the procedure. I feel so strongly I place my name on it, the Miller Advanced Catheter.